What up, everybody? Welcome to Cracker Hunter, Carolina Hitman. I'm Anubis, and uh, I, as you all know, that we are big Aliens fans, so we were happy to review this piece that we just got in. This is the M41A Pulse Rifle from Hollywood Co Collectibles Group. Uh, this is the life-size version. Um, the the stunt version. Yeah, this is no, the look at, me. Uh, look at oh you. God. Yeah, this is the stunt version. Now, uh, the difference between the stunt version and the hero version is as far as um, well, the movie and the actual um, prop is the stunt versions were the ones that you see where everybody's running and yeah, everything. Yeah, kind of like hanging out, running. Right, and they have no movable parts or anything like that. The hero version is the one that, and the stunt version only weighs about five pounds. The hero version weighed about 20 pounds, maybe a little bit over that, and that's the one that has all the moving parts. You know the. Well, you said it was made based after the Thompson submachine gun, which is well, that's well, that's the that's one of the the parts that has been. Put in there, you oh, know. Okay, well, it's not see, based after, but that's one of the. Um, one but of the that parts. would that would be the reason why it's so fucking heavy. Because if anybody knows anything about guns, the Thompson submachine gun was very heavy. Yeah, heavy as shit, especially yeah, with that con. damn. Bear, uh, well, yeah. back in World War II, they didn't use the uh, the drum magazine. Right, they actually just used the the, the, the magazine. Yeah, the uh, twenty five round, twenty five or thirty round magazine. I think it was twenty five. The the straight clip. Right now, on the the version we have today is the stunt version. Um, from Hollywood Collectibles Group, and this one has no moving parts on it. The counter stays at 95. It's just a uh, looks like a, pa a plastic sticker or something like that. Yeah. And um, there were two versions. Well, actually four versions: the olive green, the olive green weathered, the brown, and the brown weathered. Which I have the olive green clean version right here. So the, there's a weathered version of this one who as well. The brown one. I don't know who carried the brown brown one. I bet I bet it was like uh, I bet that was Hicks. I don't know. That well, would make sense because he always liked to carry that shotgun with the wood. Maybe, but I, I think no. I think all of them carried the gr the green one. They just had. I don't know where the brown one came from. I'm not exactly sure on that. I bet one. comic books or something. Like yeah, that. maybe. But um, but yeah. So, I, being a big Alien fan, I was actually happy to get this because I I love movie props. Yeah. Especially from absolutely from Alien. Yeah, especially ones that are as screen accurate as possible. Well, and this you can't get no more screen accurate than something <laughs> right. that was used in the film. Right. Uh, and this one, I, I like this one. I would have preferred to get the weathered version just to show a little bit more wear and tear on yeah. it. Yeah. But I couldn't find the weathered version. Um, I was able to get the stunt version off of eBay. I'm not, and I got it cheaper than retail. But um, I like it. There's some things I would have I would have liked to have changed different. But we'll get into that. But um. I'm going to let you start it off. Um, what's some of the things you like about it, man? For one, I like that you can actually kind of take it off the base and hold it like a real right. weapon, you know? And you kind of like almost play at your favorite parts of the movies. Like, ah! Right. What is it like? They say, what, 900 rounds a minute? 90 rounds a minute? No, 900 rounds. 900 rounds a minute? Yeah. It's well, no wonder it's got a 95 round magazine. Right. <laughs> but like, it kind of surprises me, though. I mean, you got a 95 round magazine. I mean, how's it going to fit all in just this part right here? It's probably like a quadruple stack. It's probably what it is. Because, yeah, that, I mean, the thing, they, the, the magazine they shove in, it doesn't look that big. So It has to be. It has to be huge. It has to be like that thick. Well, no. It, in, yeah, it has well, you, to be. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't look huge. It doesn't look big enough to fit 95 rounds in it. Unless it's like quadruple stack. And that's probably what it is. Now, Future tech. For this one, I, I like this one. There, like I said, there's a couple, th I think, misses on this one as far as the paint application. I think the paint application looks a little gloopy in areas. Yeah. Where it's just a little thick and not as uniform as I would like to have seen. Honestly, I think, that, for this I think price. that would make sense, though, because of, like, if you ever... Well, we've been to the, the Hollywood Cars place. Where right. The, I mean, not all of that stuff looked exactly like it did in the movie because, you know, they had the movie magic. Well, that's true, but I'm just saying as far as the paint application right. of this, it just looks a little bit thick in, in areas and isn't as uniform as I would have liked to have seen for a piece that costs as much as it does, um, especially around the barrel right here, where it's just a little, it's a little, little sloppy. The slide, 
Yeah, the, um, the slide, slide action. Yeah, yeah this is a little grenade, sloppy. Yeah, the, for the grenade right here, the silver. Right. Now, one of the things I do love about it is the details as far as the, the, the screws. Yeah. The, the, the Allen wrench screws in, in, the, in the top part of the gun. Yeah, that does look, that does look, they do look real, don't they? Yeah, they look like real screws. I they, they no, they're not. No, they're not. Oh, they're not? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> but real enough to look like it. Right. There are areas that, like I said, that I think it could have been done a better. One of the things I do like about the, the base itself, I'll take it off, there's a magnet, I guess, that's in, in the bottom of the, the magazine and in the, the and, base, and the itself. base itself, that it it doesn't connect very well. I mean, it just it still see it it connects a little bit. Well, the but base it, it actually, holds. The base has got some weight. Yeah, it got some weight too. And of course, you can always tell that this is an actual movie prop because it's at the bottom of the base. Oh, you let's know. see that. Yeah. So it's got the copyright and all that stuff, and I got two hundred seven out of two hundred fifty. So there was only two hundred fifty of this version made. So I got two hundred seven, and I and I'm a big fan of movie props. Like I said, I wish I could own yeah. more of them, but some of that stuff is um way too much <laughs> out of my price range. Yeah, I mean, you're thinking about stuff like $10,000. Right. And, you know, we, we don't have that. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> but nice overall, I, I think it looks very well done. I mean, as yeah. far as looking like the actual pulse rifle that they use in the movie. Yeah. I, one thing I, I, I will knock against it is that it does not come with the, the, the strap. To actually yeah. stick it over your, sl your shoulders. Yeah. I think for... That would be like, cool for cosplay. Right, well, which you can use this for cosplay, yeah. I mean, honestly. But that's, for me, I think that for a piece that costs as much as this one did, it should at least come with a strap. Well, I guess we could actually just go... Well, no, no, you, uh, well I found one on eBay already. I yeah. mean, you can get one. But my, my, my point it is... It should have came with one. Yeah, it should have came with one. Exactly. It should have come with one. And that's, for me, that's a knock against it. But... You know what I think it would have been cool if they would have had... They had like one of these buttons, uh, like a button or something, mm. where it made the actual pulse rifle sound. Oh, that'd have been. Which I think the hero versions don't make the sound, but they have the ejectable magazine, the um, extendable, extendable stock. Yeah, extendable stock. The, uh, extendable. Um, uh, never mind. Well, isn't the stock? Yeah. Yeah, but and the pump and the pump on the on the grenade launcher works. Yeah. Really. Yeah, and the the counter actually works as well. It doesn't. It stays at 95, but it lights up. Oh, yeah. So oh, it's, it's actually a light up feature. Yeah, and then and then the the slide. Oh, was it the? Yeah, the slide. The slide for the chamber around that actually pulls back. The charge, I guess. Yeah. Some people would call it. Right. So I would have preferred a hero version. Just the hero version I couldn't find, and it's the hero versions are a lot. A lot more, I mean, yeah, yeah a lot well, more. I mean, if you've got a lot of those moving parts, man, it's going to take like some custom machining. Oh know? yeah, which there are versions of this of this rifle where there's an aerosol, aerosoft version of it you can yeah. get, and there's probably versions that you can get that people have made that have all the moving parts and stuff like that, but it's not officially licensed. I bet there's for, actually a version that's shootable. But that's all. Like, oh, they are. Real, they're, they're real versions, yeah, there's uh, versions that are people actually made that actually can shoot. <laughs> no actual, yeah, Wedding. actual rounds and everything, but it's not a licensed movie prop. Right. And I, for me, I know it's it's a stationary prop, which for me I don't mind as much because I'm not going to be. It's something cool to put up. Right, right, exactly. In my collection, I'm not going to be toting it around, chambering rounds and pumping and things like that. So I don't mind it being a stationary prop. Because that's all it is for me. I, I just want to be a cigar. You might make a good ape home, man. Yeah, that's Tell right. Ape home. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I, I don't mind it being stationary because of the fact that I'm not going to be messing with it. Once it go, once we finish reviewing it, it's going to go on my wall yeah. and just be a piece that I want in my collection. I just, I just would prefer the hero version because it actually has it. Just because. I know, just because. Yeah, just because. Just because it's cool. But I think, like I said, I, I honestly think this is a very good movie prop. Just a few things, like I said, I think the paint should have been tightened up a little bit more yeah. for the price, and it should have come with a damn strap. First Honestly, of all, it seems feels like it's pretty tough, you know. What I mean? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you drop it, though, it's gonna break. I mean, you drop it from a good height from a, a solid surface, it's gonna yeah. break. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. Yeah. But it seems pretty tough. Like, yeah. hell, I don't know, man. If I mean, it's not. Good, I don't think it's plastic enough, or anything. No, if you yeah. got good enough at art, dude, you could probably do the weathering. Oh yeah, I, I, I plan on doing that. Honestly, I, I'm I'm skilled enough in the weathering department. I think I could weather it enough to yeah. where it look like an actual used rifle so I, I still could do that yeah but um overall man, I, I think it's a, a decent prop i think it's a little overpriced for what they yeah. they offer i think i can see that yeah because i think sideshow sells it for like 600 bucks 
And I think that this is not worth 600 bucks. I think the most 400, yeah, 350, 400, just because of the actual license. And the movie prop. Right. I just think that it's a little overpriced for what you get. And for the mo- for the price, I would have preferred to, like I said, the paint be tightened up, yeah. a strap come with it. It just... For the price, I think it's it's a little overpriced, man. I I really do. But you know, I, I got it I got it cheaper than retail, so it, got it for like four fifty. You know, I you know you've seen a real like a life size one of these rifles. They look so much bigger in the movie. They really do. I mean, I, this is this is the actual. I know. Size. Yeah, I would have thought that it, it was like so much bigger in the like movie. Three feet long, yeah. and no, like a foot wide, and stuff like that. Okay. It's a lot bigger. But I mean, and this does seem like something you can carry around, though. Oh yeah, you know, like. Clear out some I hallways. I would carry it around. You know, clear out some hallways. Right. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Zeno. No. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, it doesn't... I don't know. I think it's cool, man. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's cool, too, just because I actually own a... A, a, a pulse a, rifle. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> 41 pulse rifle. Yeah. So, I still like it, but I just think it's a little overpriced for what you get. I think that if it would have been... Like, so a strap would have come with it and everything like that, I think it would have been a little bit more... It still would have been a little overpriced. I think it would have... I would have preferred it be about what I paid for it. Oh, you know what? About else 400, been, 450. You know what else been cool? I've been like a replica of the one, like one of the grenades and one of the rounds. Oh, like, man, exactly. Shit. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Like, I wish I could find some of the actual, somewhere I could find where they, they make the grenades and stuff like that. Yeah, so like I can a, put. A, like, a, like a replica of the grenade. Yeah, so, yeah, so I can like put like two or three of those on there, man. Or hell, just one. I, I, want, I need at least two or three. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, that, that would be cool. Like a replica of the grenade and a replica of like one of the bullets. Right. And an extra magazine to come in the back, you know. So, just, yeah, something like that. Just a few more accessories would have been appreciated right. for something that, that at the price point that they're asking for. It. Right. You know, for six hundred bucks, man, you can get a lot. Of, uh, 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 probably one made for you that has moving parts and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, but it's not licensed, and that's know, for me. Man. And for me, that's the most important important yeah, part. It's, it's a, a licensed. It's moving almost prop. like that certificate of authenticity. Exactly. Yeah. You know? So. If I don't have that, it's not really technically a movie prop, but because it has a license, it, it elevates a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but I just said I just wish it had been a little bit cheaper. Or if it were gonna if you're gonna charge that much, put a few more accessories in there, man, yeah. for a brother, man. Yeah. Just, just a few yeah, more. Come on, man. Like I would have loved to see, like you said, some grenades, man. Some props of a grenade, maybe extra magazine yeah, or something. You see them holding the grenades. Right. So I just wish I'd have seen that, man. That's all. You maybe a few grenade? shotgun rounds. Do you remember or what the grenade was? Um, I forgot what it was called, man. I just know they press it and. Uh, no, I'm talking about like the actual grenade that goes into the gun. I, I'm, I forgot what it's called, yeah, man. Me too. Be honest with you, I, I don't feel like. I know it's not a two or three. Yeah, something like that. It's not. It's not that. I know that because that's what Arnold uses. Right. So yeah. I don't know exactly what it is. But yeah, man. So overall, man, I think this is a decent movie prop. A little overpriced for what you get. I'd have preferred it to be a little cheaper. But to have a licensed. Movie Life pop. size uh, pulse rifle. That's I'm happy. Still, that's still pretty cool. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, I agree. All right, everybody. So this was going to be a quick one. There's not really much to talk about on this one. We just wanted to show you. I'll this. be honest. I, I really like playing with it. I think it's awesome. <laughs> I, I can tell you. You play with it more than I have so far. <laughs> this was a father uh, Father's Day gift too, man, from a fiance. So oh. yeah, so it was awesome too. But all right, everybody. Damn, so I barely got a card. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying my wife is better than yours, but no. <laughs> but um. Yeah, honestly, man, this is an awesome prop. I like it, just a little overpriced. All right, so this is going to be, this is just a quick review of every, um, everybody. Definitely so, fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely fun. But um, let us know what you think about it, man. What, what would you like to see done differently for the price point that they're asking, man, at Sideshow? Show? It? 600 bucks. I got it for, oh, I got it for cheaper than that. I got it for yeah, like 450 you got it on eBay. Yeah, so I got it for cheaper than that, but. They're one six. They're one six hundred, and that's not that's not a, that's not including shipping mm. or taxes. Yeah, that's just. That's like almost close to 700 bucks. And I don't think I don't honestly think this is worth seven hundred bucks. It is not. So if you can find it cheaper on eBay or something like that, I would recommend going that route, especially for the stunt version that it doesn't have any moving parts. If you can get a hero version with all the moving all the moving parts and everything. Maybe I would consider saying it's worth about five six hundred bucks. I still think not, but it would be I would be more inclined to say it's worth six hundred when it's if it has all the moving parts. A stationary prop like this. I don't know, if it had all the moving parts, it would have to be metal. No wonder it would be so heavy. 
But yeah, man. So I mean, that would be worth a lot more right there. Right. Like a thousand bucks. No, oh, fuck that. I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying, paying man. that much. <laughs> I'm just saying that. I just won't have a pulse that rifle. That seems like that's what it would be like if you had all the moving parts and the flashing. Because you'd have to have electronics in there. Right. Right. And well, it, I don't think it would be as heavy. Have to have the magazine. It probably wouldn't be like as heavy as this. It'd probably be a lot more plastic in it and everything like that. Because on the hero version. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I, you said it was like 20 pounds. Well, I'm no. I mean, in the movie, it was. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Not the. That this version, that the prop, the the hero version in the movie was about twenty pounds. I don't know how much the one weighs that they they, they sold before. Well, it should be about twenty pounds. I mean, if you're going to charge that yeah. much damn money, yeah, it should be. Yeah, yeah it should be I made agree. out of metal. That way, you can actually charge Change the rifle. Right. <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> charge the rifle, pump the shot. You know, yeah. whatever shotgun, uh, grenade, whatever. What do you, everybody? This, Pull out the stock. This is a quick review, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed it. But let us know what you think about it, man. What would you like to see done for that price point? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Maybe more like the hero right now. But all right, everybody. But um, thanks for joining us today, man. We'll see y'all next time. It's Carolina Hitman. I'm Anubis. See y'all next time on Cracker Hunters. Peace.